today we are getting ready to go to an LSU game. I have been to one LSU game my whole life. So I didn't go to LSU, I went to UL and Lafayette, but I did go to one LSU game with friends in college. We sat there, they did the first play, there was lightning, game was over. Like that's my LSU game day experience. I've tailgated twice. I've worked at one of the bars during the games, made a lot of money, but never truly had like an LSU tailgate game day experience. So today is that day I'm going with a couple of girls that I went on one of those girl dates with. Getting ready now. Don't really know what I'm gonna wear. We'll figure that out. But right now we are going to do some makeup. All right, makeup is finished. I'm trying to start putting on like eyeshadow and stuff and like my skills haven't evolved from high school. I'm still using the Naked 2 palette I think we all got for Christmas in 2012. I probably should throw that away and upgrade, but makeup's done. Now to figure out what to wear. Super gloomy outside. I did go shopping yesterday. I have nothing purple and gold, nothing LSU. So now that I live in Baton Rouge, I definitely need to upgrade my wardrobe when it comes to some LSU attire. Yesterday after work, I went to a local boutique. Had a lot of LSU stuff. A lot of it was super cute super expensive so i had like a vision going in i wanted to get like a sweatshirt or something the sweatshirts there were like 140 dollars looked not that great on me i'm like i'm not about to spend 140 dollars on a sweatshirt and i don't even love it so where do i go i go to walmart i got a couple of options from walmart this was one option lsu tigers just a simple little gray like sweatshirt type thing then i got this tigers long sleeve gray shirt Finally, this purple Tigers long sleeve shirt. Spent $60 total, $20 for each item at Walmart. A lot more than I thought I was gonna spend, but I did get something at the boutique. How cute are these? So I was really hoping for some warmer weather. It's Louisiana, so like, jean shorts aren't out yet. They're not rolled out. That's what I was hoping for, and that's the vision still. I'm gonna see how it is. That's why I got a long sleeve, because I'd rather be covered on top, have my legs be cold, so the vision. Purple top, sparkly shorts, cowboy boots. Let's see how well this vision comes to life. Virgo Boutique, my mom's closet. I think it looks pretty good. May the Lord keep me warm today because this is the fit. This is what I wanna wear. It's the vision and it actually looks good together. There's nothing worse than when you know what you wanna wear, you picture it in your head and then you put it on and it doesn't look good, but this is a win in my book. This is what I imagined. so messy. I don't have anything. I wanted like a super, super tiny like curling wand to help some pieces and just make it look a little more wholesome. I had the neighbor. She said, what happened to your hair? I said, this is my natural hair. She said, yeah, but it's nappy. Hoping this will make it a little less nappy looking. I do have this wand and it's pretty small. So I'm going to just try to use like the end of it and like just fix it up a little. I'm gonna do like this one tester piece. Oh my goodness. Do you see it? Look how cute that is. That's gonna look so good. Wow. And if you don't think so, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, now I'm 
put him in a colored lip? Who am I? It's so dark, I literally put a dot on the middle of my bottom lip and he rubbed around everywhere. I think it looks good and it's not gonna wear out. Throughout the day, I'll probably put like a gloss over it, which will wear out, but like. Like, doesn't it look cute? And I got my bangs that I cut, inspiration from Brittany, and I curled them. Yeet, they look so cute. I started packing up my car because I'm about to go and head to one of the girls' house because I am driving her. I packed, I'm such a mom, without actually having kids, I packed a change of shoes, some leggings in case I get cold, some Motrin ibuprofen because I know my back's gonna start hurting if I'm gonna be standing up this whole time. I'm 100 years old, filled up my water bottle. This is, this is 27. <laughs> such a great time at the LSU game. It was so much fun. I loved my outfit. I went pick up my friend Angela and then we went to Total Wine and got some drinks. I got four little mini bottles of wine and before anybody says anything, I finished my wine at like four o'clock. I didn't drive until like 2 p, 2 a.m. Okay, I know you guys were causing a ruckus in the comments before. I am not drinking and driving, I promise. YouTube doesn't show you guys everything. I definitely cut out all the boring pieces, but so we went get our wine, then we made it to LSU. It took us a minute to figure out parking. Finally found some street parking for free. We walked to like where the stadium is, got some tacos and just kind of chilled out a bit waiting for our other friend Taylor to get off of work. And then we went to the tailgate of my other friend Tristan. We had a great time. There was like a live band there. Um, the guy that was singing was like top 10 on American Idol. Great time, love dancing. So I was definitely at first the only person dancing, but eventually other people started joining it as well. But I had a great time, love dancing. Met a guy there, okay? He's talking to me for like 30 minutes. And then he's like, oh yeah, are you going to the game? Where are you sitting? Like, can I have your phone number? All this stuff, okay? And I'm like, yep, here's my phone number, whatever. And my friends were like, oh my God, he was so cute. Did you get his number? I said, I didn't get his number. He got my number, he can text me. Did he text me? No, he didn't text me. He was very persistent and didn't bother texting. So we went to the LSU game against Florida. They ended up winning. We left at like halftime. And then I went chill at a restaurant with a group of people. Contra flow started, so I wasn't able to make it to my car. So I had to go to another girl's house, wait out there for like two hours until I could make my way back to my car. So that was at like two in the morning, made it home. And yeah, great experience. Hopefully we get to do it again. It's the next weekend. I kind of left you guys hanging because I've been so mentally overwhelmed from work. I'm not gonna go into like why I'm literally on the verge of a mental breakdown, like not even joking. I'm stressing y'all. I'm just really good at compartmentalizing my efforts, okay? Stressing on the inside, but it's the weekend. I'm done, I'm over it, moving on. Time to enjoy my life because as of lately, the weekdays are nothing but work and I'm quite literally miserable. I talked to my counselor today about like everything that's happening and my counselor for work. He's gonna get some advice and like see what happens. And I said, if it's like still like this, like I wanna roll off the project. Like I don't think my working style is compatible with the lead. It's, it's just a mess. Okay, moving on from that. Just got ready. 
We're ready to hit the town. It is six o'clock, pitch black outside already, but meeting up with the girls, honestly, I don't know what we're doing. Some like art festival, like you like walk the streets, there's like drinks, there's like booths with crafts, Christmas stuff maybe. I have no idea. Um, I'm new to the area. If you didn't already know, if you're new here, I bought a house in August. So I moved here, not that familiar with what's in and around Baton Rouge. So I made some friends and honestly, I'm like, I'm just happy to be here. Let me know where we're going. I'll be there, like, that's fine. I need to leave now. I need to let Ruby out and I'll catch you guys later. Last night I went out with my friends. We went to, it was the White Night Light, no, White Light Night Festival. We did that, walked a ton, a ton, a ton. I didn't buy anything though. I don't know, just wasn't really shopping, shopping. Um, I think one of the girls bought some earrings, things like that. And then we stopped at a bar. The DJ was so bad. I felt like I was, it sounded like I was shopping at Hollister. The music was just bad. So then we left, went to the car, and went to check out a different bar on the way back to where our cars were. That one was better, but we were a little tired. So we stayed there for a little bit, got home at like 2 a.m. And I've just been hanging around the house today. I had to redo my hair because it was so, so frizzy. What's on the plan for today is I am gonna go to Best Buy and buy myself a camera to do my vlogs with. For my van videos, I've used my Canon M50 camera, but for like my vlogging videos at home, I've basically just been using my phone. I think it's time to upgrade, gonna go find a camera. I don't know which one I'm gonna get yet. I have it on my phone, but I'm videoing right now, so I can't see that. One's a Canon, one's a Sony. I don't know which one I want. I think it's like the Canon Mark III or the Sony ZV-F1. I have no idea. We'll see which one I end up with. Okay, I just picked out my camera. Camera reveal, I got the ZV-1F and as well the little vlogger Sony tripod thing. I was stuck in between the ZV-F, which was $399, and then they had the ZV-2, which was $900. And immediately I'm like, the 900 one is obviously better since it's almost double the price, but I originally wanted the ZV-F1, so I'm like, let me not spend more money just because I think it's better. Like literally, I looked at the stats and it looked pretty much all the same. So I bought the cheaper one, the one I originally wanted, and since it's the holidays, they're like, you know, if you wanna bring it back, that's until like January something. So I'm like, okay, I'll just buy the cheaper one, and if I hate it, I'll return it and get the other one. I don't think I'm gonna hate it enough to spend 400 extra dollars. On another one so we're gonna go home and unbox this but we're actually close to like a furniture place so i'm just gonna like stop in there and see what's up because my house is still quite bare so i want an accent chair for my house and this one looks exactly like my couch but it's two thousand dollars and it is a little big and then there's like the ottoman but that's 750 like that's so much money but i really want a leather chair to match my couch and this is it I don't know. Hey, my girl. Hey, my girl. Come on, outside. Go, okay. Outside. Outside, come on, go. Come on. Okay, let's 
unbox my camera i'm so excited i can't wait i know i have to like probably charge it so i can't use it just yet but get ready for some higher quality vlogs let's open the camera first we have the sony digital camera zv 1f so I think the price tag is normally $4.99, but it is close to the holidays. So it said it was $3.99. So I got this for $3.99. And then I got the vlogger kit, which is basically just the tripod and a Sony memory card. This was like $150, I think. We'll unbox that later. Unboxing this now, because I know I gotta charge it. We got our warranty, some benefits to register the gear with Sony. A reference guide. We have something in this little paper envelope. Oh, this is like the little mic that goes on the camera and has this fur thing. This is for the audio, like when there's wind sounds. This fur thing stops the wind sounds from sounding in the video. At our charging cord. I think this is the battery in here. Okay, got a little battery. Time for the grand reveal. It's so tiny, which is what I wanted. This screen goes out to the side, the Canon uh, Z Mark, what is it called? The Canon Mark III or something like that flips up. It's like literally so tiny though. Palm of my hand, wow. So perfect. Okay, so let's look at this startup guide. It's like, I don't even wanna to touch it, I'm gonna mess it up. Okay. Insert the battery pack. Okay, there's a little, there we go. I think it's gonna turn on. Oh my, it's on. Let's select English, connect to smartphone. Ugh. I'm videoing right now, okay. Be right back. Okay, I'm finished. But I am gonna charge it all the way, so let me turn this off. Time to open up this. A box in a box so we have the 64 gig memory card and then the tripod a little pouch to put it in and voila the main piece hold it like this vlogging and then you can pop these little legs out to have it stand there's like a photo button a movie button lock c1 and then t and a w what does that mean i don't know all right, I'll probably figure this out, read a little bit in the background, but now we wait. Okay, it is finally fully charged. Also, this isn't a mic, so under this is where the mic to the camera is, and this just slides and goes right over it to prevent wind, so it still works. Now it is time to sync this tripod to my camera. On the camera, select menu, network, hmm, Bluetooth on, pairing, Press and hold of the photo button and the T for at least seven seconds. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, okay. Okay. Are we done? Okay. Oh, okay. Let me press record. Is it recording? Okay, now it's recording. I had to press the button, so I don't know how this thing's working. We're recording. How's the quality look? Comparing it to my phone versus my camera. Uh, I think I'm gonna officially end the vlog on my phone right now. And now we're officially on my camera. Let me know what you guys think. I think I still need to figure it out a little bit. A, a lot of it, but how's the quality? How do we, oh my gosh, like, and it's, ah, ah, I think I like it. I'm also like just staring at myself in the screen on this side, so let me look at you guys. Okay, so while this has been charging, I've been trying to make my house a home, okay? I have four bedrooms for me, just for me. They're not really being utilized like they should, so I've been in this spare room. I have my drum set right here. I had all of like my kid stuff everywhere so i just picked all of that up try to put it into some bins try to figure out what i wanted to keep spoiler alert i kept all of it that's what i've been working on and it is i'm like trying to get ready for bed right now and i looked at the clock it's seven o'clock it's not time for bed not even close 
this time change got me messed up but yeah what am i gonna do i think i'm gonna start decorating for christmas soon i think i'm gonna end this vlog right here with my brand new camera i'm so excited you guys i'm still gonna play around with it see if i like it but so far what i'm looking on the screen to my right looks pretty good i don't see how spending an extra 400 dollars would have drastically improved this camera setup, so this is where we're going with. I will have the camera and the accessories I'm using linked down below in my Amazon storefront if you're interested. Remember, Christmas is coming up, so if you wanna give somebody a camera, give yourself a camera, and also New Year's resolutions is coming up. If you wanna start a YouTube channel, just do it. I did it on my phone, I did it on my camera for a while because I was like waiting for everything to be perfect, but like, y'all, just go for it. I've been doing it on my phone the past couple of videos, the past couple of months and it works just as good. It was time for me to upgrade though, personally. With that being said, camera in the description below. And thank you guys for following along. I had such a great time. The past two weekends at the LSU games, hanging out with my new friends and going to the festival, going out, buying a new camera, trying to get my house together before the holidays. Been mega stressed with work. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.